Hello. The purpose of this video is to accompany my blog post with regard to scriptable objects and how you can do interesting things with them with inheritance. So I've got a blank project, empty scene, some empty folders. Um, so let's just uh, let's just get started. I'm going to make a new script, create script, and I'm going to use the example of a uh, uh, an upgrade or data about an upgrade here to show how you can use a scriptable object to uh, store information about an upgrade. So I made a script called upgrade definition that should be opening up in writer which is the IDE I use and highly recommend. Okay first thing don't need any of these methods not going to be a mono behavior. It's going to be a scriptable object. Cool. Uh, I'm going to add some fields to it. Things that, you know, an upgrade needs to do. And actually, for the purposes of this, I'm going to change this to a uh, gun upgrade Whoop, definition. So, this is going to be information about a, a gun upgrade. And one thing I like to do, I like to do private serialized fields. And I like to include a tooltip. Um, let's see here. Upgrade name. Private string upgrade name. Uh, serialized field tooltip. And of course this will be what shows up when you mouse over it in the uh, inspector or the editor. Tooltip, um, we're going to call this the minimum player level for this upgrade. Private int minimum player level. Serialize field. Tooltip, uh, damage increase amount for this upgrade. Private int damage increase amount. I also want to add some properties for these so they're accessible from other parts of my code. Um, I just like to do the serialized fields this way <coughs> for setting them in the editor. Uh, upgrade name. I'm going to have a getter, and that's all. Int minimum player level. I'm going to be able to get that off of here from other parts of my code. Um, I look int damage increase amount get. Cool, so those are the properties we can use to publicly access those. So of course that is, oh I forgot to add the part where you can create it in the menu. Menu name equals Sparrowhawk Labs gun upgrade definition. So that'll make it so that we can uh, create one of these things. What am I doing? Semicolons. No. This will make it so we can create one using the editor. So I'm going to make a new folder here to store my upgrades in called upgrades. I'll make a subfolder called Gun Upgrades. Right click, create Sparrowhawk Labs Gun Upgrade Definition. I'm going to call this a small, small gun upgrade. Upgrade name, small gun damage upgrade. Minimum player level, 1. Increase amount, 20. Great. Well, let's say that I want to have, uh, you know, some other type of upgrade definition. Like, let's say we want to have a uh, health upgrade definition. So I need some of the same information off the other one. So yeah, I don't need the damage, but I do need these things. So I'll just scrap it, right? Easy. No problem. 
also need properties for those two. Hey, look at me, I made a new type of upgrade. Create asset menu, menu name, Sparrowhawk Labs, health, upgrade, definition, excellent. So look at me, now I can, as soon as it's done compiling, I can make a, ah, it didn't compile, did it? Come on. Oh, look at me, I'm silly. I did not derive this from a scriptable object. Health upgrade. Small health upgrade. Small health upgrade. Oh, but I didn't add the health information, did I? Serialize field. Tooltip. Uh, health increase for this upgrade. And then that's going to be... Uh, what's the problem here? Oh, it's because I haven't finished yet. Int health increase amount. And then I can add a getter property for that. Cool. So yeah, look at that. 25 health. Good. Now, let's say I want to have an empty game object that uh, is my upgrade list, right? This isn't normally how I would do it. In our project, we're using some dependency injection and stuff, but for the purposes of this, we'll just... I just want to illustrate a certain point by doing this. So I'm going to make a new script called upgrade list. Put that in scripts. Upgrade list. Don't need any of that. Reformat that. Cool. Serialize field. Private list. Health upgrade definition. Health upgrades. All right. Uh, I make sure I import the right list. Mine wants to do boo lists for some reason, I don't know why, but there we go. Now we have another list for gun upgrade definitions. I'm going to call it gun upgrades. Great. So now, there we go, we got two lists. I'm going to make them each one in size for now. And one cool thing about using scriptable objects that I mentioned in my other blog post is that you don't have to drag them like this. You can hit this thing and it knows the type that it needs and it's aware of them and you just set it. So there, now we've got some uh, saved information about various upgrades that we can have designers easily create um, if they get new ideas about what kind of uh, health upgrades and uh, gun upgrades we need in the game. Easily settable here. I'm going to take it one step further and show you something even neater. Now, you noticed that I have, in gun upgrade definition, I have upgrade name and minimum player level. Health upgrade definition, I have upgrade name and minimum player level. Now, that works, but it ropes me into doing a few things that aren't really great in terms of coding. One of them is having to reproduce code every time I want to make a new type of upgrade. The other is, in my list of upgrades, I have to I have to have a separate list for each thing because they're different things. Well, we're going to use inheritance, and inheritance is basically creating a new class refer to these as scripts up until now, but I think it actually makes more sense to refer to Unity stuff as classes and objects because you're using them technically to script behaviors, but you are programming in C-sharp, make no mistake. These are classes that are going to be made into objects. 
So this inherits from scriptable objects, which means that it can do the things that a scriptable object does, which is what makes it show up in the editor the way it does and lets us do what we want to do with it. But we can go even further. We can inherit scriptable object into some class, and then we can have some other class inherit from that one. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make a new class called Upgrade Definition. And I'm going to mark this as abstract because I don't want to ever actually make just an upgrade definition. And you'll see why in a second. So I'm going to take the things that I know that I want all of my upgrades to do. I want them to have these fields in any upgrade. So those go there. I also need the properties for those. Right? Okay. I'll make a scriptable object. Now, this is an upgrade that just has information about its name and the level that's required. You're not going to actually want to make one of these. It, it wouldn't make any sense to have an upgrade that just doesn't do anything. That's why I marked it with abstract. Now, if I go back to our health and gun upgrade, I'll start with the gun. This information that we're going to have to keep duplicating every time we code up a new type of uh, gun upgrade, we can take that off of here, and we can take those off of there, and we can have this be called a gun upgrade definition, but instead of inheriting from scriptable object, we're going to inherit from upgrade definition. Okay, so everything else is the same. We'll create these in the menu using this, and it looks like all I've put on here is uh, a damage amount and if you've worked with inheritance before you know that all that stuff is still actually there it's just in this class but it'll become more apparent in the editor so I'm gonna get rid of that generic information again on this one those two fields that are gonna to apply to all upgrades I'm gonna have this inherit from upgrade definition again so now we've got something that makes more sense we've got a health upgrade definition and all it has is information about health our gun upgrade definition ha only has information relevant to guns. And the upgrade has things that are only relevant to all upgrades. Now if I go back to the editor and I did everything right, this should all be the same. It lost some of the information, which is fine. I can just adjust it or put it back in again. So small gun upgrade, minimum player level 1 small health upgrade small health upgrade minimum level one it still looks the same as before right so great I just did a bunch of stuff said some things about inheritance and programming and whatever what's the practical application well where it gets really cool is now we don't have to have two separate lists of upgrades we only need one list of up whoop, why didn't that select that? There we go. Upgrade definitions, and we're gonna call it upgrade definitions. Right? So there. Upgrade definitions. It's probably gonna clear everything. Yep. I have two upgrades, so I'm gonna do that. And even though this inherits from the gun upgrade definition or it is a gun upgrade definition and this is a health upgrade definition they are also both upgrade definitions so because I decided to do it this way I now have a way to have a single list of upgrades that I can use in the rest of my code in a way that will probably be easier to do and I did it by inheriting a base class that I made that has generic upgrade information. I inherited it and made more specific classes 
that contain more specific information without having to reduplicate uh, a bunch of code. And this kind of thing will matter as the project gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So thank you for watching.